hey hey everyone guess what time it is it's time to read the ballad of songbirds and snakes so it is currently the 6th of november and the movie comes out in 10 days and i said in my last reading vlog i wanted to read this book before i watched the movie hello everyone i'm just watching Holly Ames, Mocking Jay, part one. But I just checked my views. My last reading vlog has only been up for a day and a half. And I already have 97 views. I'm pretty stoked about the views because, like, usually only a handful of people see them. Oh my goodness, guys. It's the same day, but I just checked. I don't know if you can see that. 101. 101 views. Oh my goodness, my reading vlog is officially my most watched video on my page yes thank you so much it actually means a lot to me to get this many views on a video i know it might not be a lot to some other people but it's really exciting okay i'm really excited and i really appreciate it let's get to reading <laughs> my predictions for the book i hope it's going to be good i hope it's like lots of action <laughs> i honestly don't know let me read the blurb so this book if you don't know it's like president snow's backstory but this is the blurb called why can i okay i cannot pronounce his first name so i thought it was cornelius is that how cornelius is spelled i'm gonna google how to say his first name coriolanus why do i feel kind of nervous to start the book Oh my goodness, within the first paragraph, he's actually poor. I just realized that the book is not in like his perspective, which the other Hunger Games books were written in Katniss's point of view. So it's just a bit different. And the Hunger Games, it's in the old amphitheater thing, I think. This is the first year that they're bringing in like the interviews and the real TV show aspect of the Hunger Games, I guess. In the first year they're having mentors, so that's pretty interesting. Oh my goodness, everyone. Something in my letterbox and I think I know what it is. If it's not what I think it is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're not ready for this. Yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, let me do a try on for you. Are you ready? I love it. I'm wearing this to the movies, by the way. Back to the reading vlog. All right, another day of reading, and I've got my Peter Malark shirt on. I know he's not in this book, but you know, a girl can dream. A girl can dream. Let's read, everyone. So the tributes just arrived, and they just said the tributes we're padlocked into like a dirty livestock train so it like smelled like manure interesting to see how differently the tributes were treated earlier on than they were in the original hunger games oh my goodness and they're holding the tributes in the monkey enclosure like the old monkey enclosure in the zoo Coriolanus, Mr. Snow, he actually came up with the idea of like betting on the tribute in the thing. The last like 25 pages has literally been a whirlwind. First of all, two people died and then one girl got bitten by a bunch of snakes and now he's like falling in love with Lucy Gray, the tribute that he's mentoring. What in the world? This story just keeps taking like twists and turns all the time. They just had a bombing. Like they were giving the tributes a tour of the arena and someone bombed it. This is crazy. Suzanne Collins, you've done it again. Nine of the tributes are dead. They're just getting, they just started the interviews on stage. She just sang a song. And I tell you what, it's kind of annoying reading songs in books because I don't know like how to sing them in my head. It is Monday, okay, two days before the movie comes out. I'm going to aim to finish the book, which means I have a lot of reading to do. 
So, let's get started. And I will say, the book, like it has some bits where I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like so intense, I want to keep reading. And then some bits where I'm sort of like, like it's just a bit slow for me. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, there's just some slow bits for me. I'm hoping it picks up a bit more. Like there's not much action happening while they're in the Hunger Games, like while she's in there, at least not yet. We're on part three. She just won, but let me put my bookmark in. She just won, but then they pulled him into the office and they pulled him into the office and they know he cheated. Mr. Snow just saw his first mocking Jay and he said instantly he did not like the bird. <sighs> Foreshadowing for his future that we already know. Oh my goodness. Oh hi. Welcome to what I hope is going to be the last day reading this book. I think I've got 140 pages to go five chapters but I've already booked my movie ticket for Saturday 11 a.m. so I've got to get reading. Okay Mrs. Snow is at the lake. <sighs> Listen to this. Clerk Carmine brought Lucy Gray a plant he uprooted from the lake. Hey you found some Katniss. Oh. Katniss Ebony? What? Now Lucy Gray is singing her younger sister, or whatever, the song the Katniss sang Rue when she died. Oh, it's all starting to connect. No wonder Snow hated Katniss so much already. Just the name reminds him of Lucy Gray. And that she sang that song. Mm, I'm figuring it out. Things are heating up. Some rebel action. We are on the final chapter. So he's just run off with Lucy Gray. And like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to put in a prediction right now. They run off, either he regrets his decision and wants to come back to go to that fancy school to be like in charge of the peacekeepers. Or the peacekeepers find them. Or she says something that he disagrees with because he's so controlling he just like goes crazy or something they're my predictions and yes i'm in my pajamas once again i don't want to hear about it. i finished it i finished the book guys i was sort of right with the whole lucy gray situation i wish that sort of went on for a bit longer it was like a two-page situation yeah, I don't know how to feel. It really, it took only a split second for him to be like, I love this girl, to like, want nothing to do with Lucy Gray. It's like if you finish the book and you just gotta sit in it for a second, you know? Review, 1010. That was great. I recommend you read it. I'll fast forward to the movie review now. So I literally just got home from the cinemas and here are my thoughts. Let me sit you down somewhere. Overall, the movie was pretty good. Definitely same with the book. The last, the last part, like the part where his peacekeeper was my favorite part. I felt a lot in, especially the first half of the movie, it was a bit like brushed over everything. I think the movie would have been better off as a two part situation like Mockingjay was, where it was sort of like up until the end of the game, so it was one part and then the peacekeeping was like a second part maybe or something like that because I just felt like it, yeah, it sort of was just like clip, clip, clip but they didn't really like mesh together and didn't really, like I wanted them to expand on what they just showed, if that makes sense Snow and Lucy Grey, they like weren't as, you know, affectionate and like in love with each other I guess as they were in the book which was kind of disappointing and Maud Ivory, who was such a big character in the book, said literally one line. 
Not even, I don't think. She literally was like, peacekeepers. And that was it. It was a good movie, but it definitely it does not come close to catching fire for me. And my little experiment, you know how I said in the last reading vlog, I wondered if I liked the Hunger Games movies better because I watched them before the book. When this time I read the book and then watched the movie and I do like the book better than the movie. So I think, you know, I think it's true. If you do one before the other, you're always going to like the first one better. Rachel Zegler, she had such a nice singing voice. And I watched a little behind the scenes thing and she sang live on set. And I love when people do that. Meryl Streep did that and Mamma Mia. Uh, I feel like it just makes singing in movies so much better because it looks more realistic than when they lip sync. But Viola, what's her name? Viola Davis? She was so good as Dr. Ghoul. She's just like, oh, I don't know. It just makes you go, oh, creepy. <laughs> and I did notice lots of things in the game arena were different. I guess they did that to put more action in. But Lucy Gray, in the book, she hid pretty much the whole time until the very end. Whereas in the movie, she got attacked by like the careers, I guess, like a few times. They had a very diverse cast, I will say though. But yeah, it was nice to see the diversity on screen. That was nice. Oh my goodness. And in the scene where they go swimming in the lake, Lucy Gray had the cutest like crocheted like underwear, I guess. And I'm like, mm, I don't want to recreate that because that looked really cute. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, the movie was pretty good. I'd recommend both reading the book and watching the movie. I'm excited to add the movie into like my rotation to go from Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and then Hungry Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, Mockingjay. I, I saw a TikTok or a YouTube video earlier today or yesterday and I said that Hungry Games is very action filled books whereas Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is very character built books I think I don't know and that explains as to why I didn't like it as much as the first Hunger Games because I said at the start I hope it had a lot of action and had some action but it was very like in what's the word I don't know reading his thoughts or whatever <laughs> if you have enjoyed watching this book slash movie review reading vlog <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call it please like subscribe share Comment your thoughts on the movie and book. You know, I'd be interested to hear what you think. Stay tuned. Next week kicks off my Christmas videos. So if you want some ideas for like Christmas dates, Christmas DIY stocking stuffers, stay tuned. I hope you have a lovely weekend or week whenever you're watching this. And I will see you later. Goodbye.